Now, you can't find the answers by declaring a society democratic. You can only find the answers by research and development. You can't find the answers by putting people of high moral character in government. You can only find the answers by innovation, by studying the systems and the problems, and working on methods of alleviating those problems. Not through law. Law is when you don't have a method of solving a problem. If people steal or hurt one another, you say it's against the law to hurt somebody. Well, if a person doesn't have the means to live by, he's going to hurt somebody to get the, the money or whatever they need. So that isn't dealing with a problem. Law is really avoiding problems. It's just nailing a proclamation on the wall saying, you, don't do this. You see, it doesn't work. In the long run, you might cause people to consider an action before they take it. But all laws come into existence because of scarcity. Always difficult to imagine that. When there's scarcity of water, people will steal it, remove it, if not for themselves, for their children. So uh, all the laws in the world, but if you don't want people to steal water, you build an electric fence around the water. See, And this is the way you say, you don't need to put up a sign, don't steal water. But those people will die. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to build a fence around our country and say, this is the greatest country in the world, we're going to keep it that way. We depend on other countries. If we live to ourselves, I can assure you, we'll die of ourselves. Right. Because if the Russians do nuclear testing and they dump radioactive stuff into the sea, or the Japanese, the world is one big place and the air moves around and the waters move. Therefore, living to yourself, your little isolated colony, your little uh, culture that you want to build, your, your little city that you want to build of people with like-mindedness, all of that has no basis for survival. Because in the event of catastrophic failure, you will be invaded by the minorities if they don't have food, water, or the wherewithal to live.